Well, for months we've been telling you DC is ramping up photo enforcement of parking violations as well as speed and red light cameras. Millions of those tickets, they go unpaid. Now, in the past year, the district has been going after people who don't pay more aggressively. As News 4's Mark Seagraves reports, so many cars are being towed for those unpaid fines, the city had to open more impound lots. For more than 20 years, Antoine T. Money has been working at the district's impound lot. When he started, there was only one lot. Now there are three. This is the newest lot, which opened just a few months ago. This is where the city keeps the cars with the most unpaid fines. Cars with thousands, even tens of thousands of dollars in unpaid traffic tickets. The scoff laws. Um, they have 28 days to claim these vehicles. If they don't claim the vehicles, then they're auctioned or scrapped. The district has well over a billion, with a B, dollars in unpaid tickets, most of that owed by out-of-state drivers. Earlier this year, D.C. started a pilot program using more tow trucks and automated license plate readers to find the cars with the most in unpaid fines and impound them. In the five and a half months of the pilot program that focused primarily in Ward 1, the district has impounded nearly 300 cars that owe more than $2 million and booted more than 2,000 vehicles owing almost $6 million in unpaid tickets. Now the program has gone citywide with ramped up enforcement in all eight wards. And it's not just scofflaw cars taking up space at the impound lots. Ramped up enforcement has also resulted in more illegal scooters ending up in the impound lots. T-Money has some simple advice for the millions of drivers who have unpaid tickets in the district. Just pay your fines. That's it. Just pay your fines. But just because D.C. impounds the car doesn't mean they'll collect on all of the tickets. District officials don't expect most of these cars to ever be claimed. Some of them owe more money in fines than the cars are worth. We ran a few of the tags ourselves. This car right here, for instance, more than $19,900 in unpaid fines. From D.C.'s newest impound lot, Mark Seagraves, News 4. Wow. <laughs> it is important to note here that none of the cars being held at those impound lots are stolen cars that were ticketed after being stolen. D.C. police keeps those cars.